Who will make it on through? Only time will tell. Let's find out right now. To do so, with the call, it's Stoic and Once in Love SWC 2021 Finals is underway. Here we go. We've got Big V. We've got Jack. Three bands coming out right now. Yun Hong getting pre banned and Okeanos getting pre banned in this. Big V with the first pick. I do like the Okeanos pre ban from Jack. Jack did pretty good homework here against Big V. He knows it's a lot of damage, it's a lot of first turn potential. He knows Big V's got those crazy plus 220 Swift sets, multiple of them, in fact. But Big V taking away one of Jack's strongest opportunities, picks the Gianna first away from him. And Jack's going to be responding with a speed lead himself with that Hey Gang, which is an excellent counter to that Gianna. Big V looking to respond after seeing Ciara Hey Gang. And needs to be careful. Can't rely too much on the Hey Gang. We know Big V's incredibly fast. He does have the Jemire Tableau compositions. We know the Triton is very effective against Hey Gang. He does get the boost, but the pushback from Triton is very strong. And here it is. He could be going forward in the first match. The big cleave opportunity here for Big V. Ooh, we're going to see fireworks already. Nikki's going to get locked in, and so's the Jemire. Jack looking to respond here. Is he going to be letting Big V take advantage of him in this first match? We'll find out. Uh, Big V doing what he did, what we know best from him. Showing us, as you say, the fireworks. We're going to see an exciting and spicy first match here. A lot of damage out right now. But Jack could play for the turn two here. Has the potential to take the Lulu. We do know he's a big fan of that Carnal there, but goes for the Carnal and Juno. Yeah, Jack being a huge fan of that Carnal and that Juno pick. That's double fire units coming off for Jack. I wonder if Big V is going to be responding with a little bit of water on his side to handle these uh, high heat fire units. Mm, very interested in seeing the Tableau here. Tableau for the double speed lead opportunity. Plus, does really, really well against the Hay Gang. We do see an Annabelle being picked up right now. Maybe Big V slowing it down a little bit. We, had, we saw this comp before, though. It's very effective in America's Cup, the double uh, Oko girls there. And the Wusaw, no, last pick, Nana. We see it in the first match. Here it is. Here's the snowball comp. Yeah, the swap over to the Nana. I was actually not expecting to see a Nana coming out of Big V here. I actually did like that Wusa just a little bit, but hey, Nana's a really strong unit, and Jack's got his last pick here to counter up with this Nana and Annabelle wrapping up Big V's draft. Big V's draft rounds out really nicely. It's very strong against both the Hay Gang and the Carnal here. Ooh, but Jack with the last ping peck, uh, pick Wind Monkey King there wants to go for the counters on that AoE. It is fairly effective, but I'm not sure if uh, this double HP lead is going to be enough to survive the onslaught of Big V. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not the biggest fan of this Wind Monkey King wrapping up Jack's draft here, but we'll, we'll see if it works out for him. It does have that ability to be, you know, extremely strong here, but bans are out. Jemire is getting banned. CR is getting banned. We're getting into it, guys. Our very first match in today's world, Big V versus Jack. An attack lead and an HP lead going in. Exciting match to come up. Here we go. First turn going to Big V. We do see a pretty fast hanging there. It's a little significantly ahead of that Carnal. See if Big V is just going to be using that first skill, just pushing a little bit of damage into the Hagang, and he does. We got the big strip coming out on top of Big V. Gets a full team strip as well. We do have the cleanse available coming from Annabelle. Doesn't quite need to use it though. Could save, could wait. He goes for it. He waits a little bit longer, hoping that Carnal moves in front of his Nikki. He's not 100% sure, though. That Nikki's pretty quick. Yeah, Big V's just pushing a little bit of damage into this Hay Gang as the unit of choice right now. And Nikki's going to be up here, possibly doing the same with some more first skills into the Hay Gang. He wants to see the damage. That's a pretty significant amount of damage into that Hay Gang. Hay Gang down to 30% already. Here it goes, though. Jack does have the skill, too. Doesn't use it. Saves it. Goes for the skill three first. No slow debuff yes. on Annabelle, though. Gets three big stunts here. Annabelle's primed ready with that cleanse, of course. We're going to see a big skill, too, going into the Gianna. Gianna's still standing call. Looking for a stun on top of the Annabelle. Not receiving anything here. Hey, gang, looking to take advantage of this Annabelle. But no, cleanse is coming up for Big V. Looking strong again. Yeah, we had a lot of cleanse here. The Nikki could cleanse as well to keep the Gianna up again. Here we go. It's going to rotate another time. Yep, stun comes out from the Juno, but like you said, that cleanse is available. A little bit of poke damage coming towards Hagen, but the return stun from the Wind Monkey King. Ooh, not a big stun though. Not with a huge stun there. Takes down the Wind Monkey King. No rotation of skill two into skill one potential for him. Yeah, Juno trying to do all she can to keep this Gianna back here, but we're gonna see a big third skill coming out. A lot of additional damage happening here. Drops the Hagen. 
Oh, it's not looking very good for Jack. Two stacks for the Nana is very scary. Even if he takes down the Gianna here, she's going to come back. Yep, Gianna's coming back, coming from uh, the Nana. We have another orb still left over here as well. Jack needs a big violent proc here from the Carnal. Does he get it? No, he does not. Nope, does not. Defense break on top of the Carnal, able to pummel in so much damage here. Wind Monkey King going to be looking for as many stuns as he can get his hands on to. Oh, huge stun into the Nikki though. Denies the damage enough to actually stop the kill here onto the Carnal. But Nana, will she get the kill? No kill from the Nana. Yeah, no more orbs are going to be available here. Does resist the bomb, but the first kill into the Carnal. Carnal is going to be staying alive here. Another stun onto the Gianna. Needs a stun on the Annabelle. Needs a lucky off stun. Doesn't get it though. Could go for the skill too, but honestly, just killing that Carnal is the safer play. Needs the stack to rotate, but he's not afraid of it. Gets the extra turn though, and Big B's gonna take down the Carnal. No skill three opportunity. That's right. I mean, getting another orb up there was just so impactful here. All the damage is gonna be coming into this win Monkey King, and this Juno's not gonna be able to solo here. This is where Nana becomes so strong. There was just not enough damage here, and Big V taking round one away from Jack. Uh, Big V with the big violence. A massive island. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think Jack's gonna need to rethink his strategy here. The Wind Monkey King was a pretty decent pickup, but the only problem with it is that he needs to have a significant amount of control. Picking a Charlotte, picking something like a Savannah there might have been a stronger opportunity for him, mainly because he needs more control. He needs a way to catch up again once Big V's pushed him back. Right, the Annabelle three-turn slow debuff or two-turn slow debuff with that three-turn defense break is just, it's so crippling that he doesn't have a way to come back. And then on top of that, having the Nana for the orbs, it's just, it's really, really tough to get enough damage out there. Well, let's see if he's going to be able to adjust here as we get into round two with Big V and Jack. Definitely expecting to see a change of pace going into this match. Possibly uh, a stealing of Nana. I'm not too sure if we remember Jack having a Nana available or not, but we'll find out here how, how impactful this Nana is going to be. We can see the pre-bands from last time. Yan Hong and Okeanos are now available getting into round two. This is the match we're all looking forward to. Jack has a better win rate on us when he gets the opportunity for first pick. It would be interesting to see how he plays if he does have the Nana, though, because in APAC Cup, I don't think it was available for them at the time. Uh, the units weren't quite changed yet. I believe they were only changed for Europe. So uh, this cup is uh, brand new for a lot of opportunities, brand new for a lot of players. But Jack pre-banning away the Nikki shows a lot of respect there to Big V and his playstyle. Yeah, very interesting pre-ban on that Ganymede as well. Very interesting. Jack with the first pick. Let's see if he's going to be taking away from Big V. Jack might safety as Gianna down. Big V does have the opportunity here for Sierra and Okeanos. Denies the speed lead opportunity from Jack while still taking that first turn control strength. Ooh, flash the Haging. Takes the Haging back. Quite interesting. We're going to see an Okeanos Wosa coming out of Big V. Oh, I would be so interested to see if Big V has some pocket strat here with the Wusa. We know it's very strong for the first turn snipe. We know he also has a Molong Jamire Tableau available here. It could actually be very, very strong into Jack if Jack doesn't see it coming. Well, Jack's gonna have a little bit of tell here with the second picks here, and it's gonna be Ciara Hagang locking in a speed lead. And of course the Hagang is another stripper for his team and a great counter to that Jack Gianna. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think Jack's playing a little bit too defensively here. He feels very confident with this. It could work out really well. Sierra is a very good combination here, taking the Hagang away as the deny counter pick uh, denies the counter pick for Big V as availability. Oh my God! And is that a Lisa? Is that something we've never seen before in the history of SWC? That is a Lisa Jemire coming up for Big V. And this is what I was saying about Big V. This is someone who has the ability to prepare for his opponent. Now, Jack, I can tell you right now, because I'd be just as thrown off, a Lisa coming out here is making him think. Lisa could be his counter pick opportunity to the Gianna, but it also could be a double counter pick. We do know that Lisa has a pretty good base speed, that 104 base speed into a cleanse, and it does lower cooldown, so it's pretty effective. A lot of players are running a non wheel Jemayer now on the uh, the ladder to try to counter these Giannas. Well, Jack wrapping up his draft with the Abelio and, of course, the Mo Long. That's triple water coming up for Jack Big V, showing the Nana once again. But what I don't like here is he's not showing a ton of kill potential. If he's going to be rocking this Nana, he's got to have the ability to get these orbs back. 
think we're about to see a lot of damage that we don't normally expect for damage. Meyer is probably going to be able to one-shot a unit with defense break, and I think that might actually be a swift crit damage Okeanos. He might have changed it up just for the tournament. Ooh, well, Jack wants no pad of that. Nana's getting banned. CR is getting banned. Speed lead for Big V. HP lead for Jack. Here we go, guys. We've got round two with Jack and Big V. Are we going to see a pink rider? Does he hit it? There it is. The reset into the Molong. Gets it what just when he needs it. Big V, the leading advantage now. Yeah, definitely a big advantage right there. Getting that reset on top of the Molong. Defense breaks in on top of Okeanos. He can cleanse, though. To go for the strip, two stripping gives attack bar. Goes for the attack man. That's the cleanse. That's a lot of damage. The damage from the Chimaya skill one on the team up is pretty significant. Definitely a lot of damage coming out. Bomb is out. Stuns on top of the Jamire and on top of Wusa. Push back here. Oh, and the extra turn. Big V is going to get that skill two off. It's going to be pretty significant for the damage. Yeah, massive skill two. Bailey is going to be cutting here. Able to sustain his team. Of course, but we do have that immunity. Oh, nice provoke sitting on top of that Wusa, though. Here it is. He goes for the big stun. Doesn't expect to land too many of them. Gets three, though. That's pretty significant. Will this be enough? Could transfer the ball. <laughs> if he gets the skill one. Well, that glancing Ooh, does sleep. land on top of the Gianna. Massive sleep on top of that Abelio, for sure. There's the reset coming up from Jemeyer. Big V's got everything up he needs now. Here it comes, here comes the extra damage. Could go into the Molong with the skill three, but wants the safety down. That Gianna, Gianna does go down to the extra turn here from Lisa. Lisa with the team up comp, something we've never seen before. What an incredibly creative setup here from Big B. It really was extremely creative. I mean, he's getting a little lucky with some beautiful additional uh, turns here, but still the comp doesn't change. So much damage here from this Jemire. The reset into Haygang denies the strip here. Haygang's gonna go down pretty quick. No more long skill three available. And not a bad strip coming out of Jack here. He's able to remove some of the shields, but none of the immunities. Double stuns out on top of Jack's team. We've got looking for a glancing, does not get the glancing, but massive skill two damage drops Haygang. Wow, Big V really showing us that he can be a big victor. Very creative with that Lisa. I actually really like this comp. It's it's way cooler than I thought it was going to be. It's bringing so much damage to the table here. He's keeping up with the glancing to stop the defense breaks coming out of this Molong. It was such a strong pick here. I got to say that uh, that sleep on the, the Abelio was pretty clutch, pretty clutch. But there was a lot of damage coming out nonetheless. And here it is. Concedes the match. Just nothing he can do there. Big V taking round two away from Jack. Possible sleep coming out here. Jack needs to get a wind under his belt here. This is not looking good for Jack. He played it a little bit too safe. He wanted a lot of that safety control, but the only problem with that is Big V is ready for it. Big V has something else. He's ready to fight it every single time. Now, I, I'm amazed by this. This is exactly what I was saying before. This is someone who has the ability to prepare for his opponent, and it is showing. I will say, Got a lot of additional turns, got a, got a lot of additional turns. And some great RNG with that two-turn sleep coming out of the Wusa, but still, the draft was amazing. Yeah, definitely. People uh, people talked about Big B, you know, Dark Horse, but I gotta say, one of the coolest things about Big B is his draft is probably a 10 out of 10. He knows how to pick different things that people aren't expecting. He knows how much damage he can output on these comps. You know, Jack was saying that it doesn't look like Big V's able to take a lot of hits. He's not able to sustain those comps. And the reason is because he doesn't need to. He will just shred you down before you get a chance to even start moving. New pre-bans coming in here. And the Nana's getting pre-banned as well as the Yan Hong. Finally respects the Nana, realizes it's not something that he wants to have to play with here. Big V has the first pick in this round three. He could go for the sweep. Definitely in favor with Big V getting this first pick. Gianna is going to be on the side of Big V now. And Jack doesn't have the speed to contend this without taking that hanging, so he needs to take it away. Doesn't want to give up the Sierra to Big V either. It's very scary. Knows he has the team up comp now with that skill one rotations. MCR Hagen coming out of Jack. Of course, Hagen there to counter Gianna. Big V looking to respond. And I'm already excited to, to see what Big V might be drafting here. It's crazy how Big V can really just comfortably default into these, you know, Jemire Nikki. He's got double cleanser, good damage, good attack buff, or he just goes with this Okeanos 
uh, Wusa pick, you know? He's got the control with it. He's got the defensive heal. He's got the immunity. It's it's kind of cool. He's just like, I don't know. Do I play one or two today? Let me just big damage or, you know, play that turn two potential. Yeah, very interesting. Jack needs to do something that Big Fee is not prepared for. And I think that's where Jack can turn this around. He needs to show something that Jack V cannot predict here. And I don't think Juno Diana is exactly it. But both these units can bring a lot of interesting RNG to a match to get that kind of edge Jack may be looking for. I think Juno fits fairly well in the style that Jack plays. And it's not bad against Big V as long as Big V is not going for aggressive turn one. You know, he didn't take the Jumai or Nikki, so the Juno actually does fairly well. The Diana's a bit of a risk, though. He really needs that Diana to have a lot of turns. And there it is. The Carnal Molly last pick here for Big V. The rotation into that safety comp. Oh, it's kind of rough really for Jack. Like this Molly here. Yeah, Jack needs to make a big move here. And this last pick is going to be Arika, the number one best fifth, uh, fifth pick here for bans. This Rika may get banned out here, but we'll see. Possibly, it might be signaling a ban on top of the Wusa or the Molly. Yeah, Rika, definitely the best uh, the best last pick there outside of maybe the Volantis that we saw at APAC, you know. Diligent with the last pick Volantis, definitely something we don't see every day, but uh, it's I think it's looking pretty rim grim for Jack here. That Molly is very strong. That Molly looking really strong right now. Woosa is going to be banned out. Hey Gang is banned out here. Gianna has the ability to go wild, not being stopped by this Hey Gang anymore. And we've got leads going out. HP lead for Big V, speed lead for Jack. Jack looking to turn it around. Big V looking for the sweep. Here we go, guys. It's round three. Oh, look at the speeds on these units. Holy Lord, they're incredible. Big B is so fast. Even his even his Carnal's moving ahead of these units. Yep, looking for the reset on top of the Rika. And stuns as well. Does stun up CR and Diana as well. Oh, gets the stun on the Carnal though. There it is. Juno with the stun potential extra turn from Sierra. Sierra has the bomb ready, but Molly can cleanse it. Yep, Molly can cleanse it. He might be trying to put this bomb on top of the Molly, but chooses to put it on top of the Oki. Honestly, he has to detonate this bomb, though, or else he can't cleanse or even pass back. Yeah, I could be going for the risky play here. Pulls it up anyways. Rika doesn't have skills, and the bomb's on her, so it's not looking great. Ooh, no additional turn there. We are going to see the cleanse happening on top of this Okiano. Save him up just a little bit. Rain of Stones coming out here. We know the sustain's going to come out for the Juno. If the Juno does get stunned up, the Juno doesn't get stunned up here. Yeah, not a lot of stuns there for the Okeanos. No extra value, but needs to stun the Carnal. Needs to get it here on the skill one. Gets on the last hit. Double glancing into a non-glancing hit with the stun, but Carnal with the violent proc. Here it comes. Carnal with the big stun into Sierra. His whole team slow debuff, though. Yeah, so many back-to-back -back procs right now. Both players procking so much, but everybody's going to be stunned up on the side of Jack. Jack's getting some initial turns. He's clapping right back with the CR going on to the Gianna. Oh, but it's not looking good. Like you said, this Molly's a great pick here. Everyone's almost full HP, and it's not looking good on Jack's side. The slow debuffs are not effective. This Diana's just not able to do anything. Exactly. Diana's not able to do anything at all. Juno is getting some lucky despair stuns. Both players are violent procking left and right. Even if he goes and plants the bomb, it will detonate and possibly remove his CR from the field. Is it going to be enough to stay alive? It is! Pretty grim, it's not gonna be enough. A big reset here on the Diana stops. It goes for the kill, takes out the Sierra, and that's it. Sierra's gone now. Yep, Ciara is gone. That's all the kill potential from Jack. This does look like a sweep here. I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing a concede. And there you have it. Big V with the big sweep on Jack. Big V showing us he's got what it takes. Three different drafts, three incredibly dominant matches here against Jack.